Our big story coverage of abuse and sexual assault surrounding the University of Michigan football program continues now at 6. Today, the son of legendary football coach Bo Schembechler and two of his former players described in detail how they were molested by Dr. Robert Anderson and how Schembechler turned a blind eye when they told him about it. Now, this all unfolded at a news conference earlier today. Matt Schembechler, along with two former Wolverine football players, told a similar story about how they were molested during physical exams decades ago. They also talked about how Bo Schembechler, whose statue stands outside a university building that bears his name, refused to protect them and allowed Anderson to continue abusing players and other patients for years. 13 on your side, sports reporter Mike Lissette has the very latest. With Bo Schembechler's reputation and possibly legacy already on the ropes, his son may have been the one who delivered the knockout blow. Bo's temper was legendary and he lost it. He screamed, I don't want to hear this. I'm not hearing this. I tried to tell him repeatedly about my effort earned me a punch in the chest. The coach that Matt Schembechler described at a press conference Thursday was a sharp contrast to the one portrayed by current U of M leader Jim Harbaugh last week. He never sat on anything. He never procrastinated on anything. Uh, I mean, he took care of it before the sun went down. But Matt says that simply isn't true. In fact, upon telling his father he had been abused by former Wolverines team doctor Robert Anderson as a 10-year-old, Bo allegedly went over the head of former Michigan AD Don Canham to ensure Anderson remained employed. It was my understanding that Mr. Canham terminated Dr. Anderson, but shortly thereafter, Bo had him reinstated because he needed his team doctor and wanted to ensure Anderson remained part of the Michigan team. The 61-year-old Matt Schembechler says he was abused by Anderson once more when he was in high school. Later in college, while training with players from the Michigan football team, he learned of other cases of abuse. And he did not mince words in explaining why ultimately nothing was done. It's very clear that Bo and the university always put themselves before any student, athlete, or son just to support the brand. Now, Matt Chambelker says after all these years, there's a reason why he's coming forth now. First, he says for his own personal healing. The second, he says, is to help others.